In the last game of the wild card round of the NFL playoffs, the Dallas Cowboys went to Florida and thrashed the Tampa Bay Buccaneers on Monday by 31 to 14. This way, the Cowboys advanced to the divisional round of the playoffs and faced the San Francisco 49ers in the NFC semifinals at Levi's Stadium this week. Dak Prescott was the name of the game with four touchdown passes, two of them to Dalton Schultz, and a rushing TD that left the Buccaneers' defense in the lurch. But now, Cowboys fan, I already ask you to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any Dallas Cowboys news that comes out last minute, as I will update you by bringing you a video anytime with the latest news as well as the Dallas Cowboys NFL schedule. Moving on! Tom Brady, like the rest of the season, did not do well and had one of his worst performances of the year, with 351 passing yards, two TD passes, and an interception with only 34 of 63 passes completed. However, Brady's biggest production came with the game already set. This was probably Tom Brady's last game for the Bucs. At almost 46 years old, the quarterback has indicated that he is not likely to retire, but his contract with Tampa is now ending. The Cowboys won, but if they had lost the villain would certainly have been kicker Brett Maher. He managed the feat of missing four extra points in the game, setting a new record in NFL history. Near the last two-minute warning, Russell Gage took a hard hit and ended up leading the game on a stretcher. The Buccaneers athlete caused concern, with players from both teams staying on the field to support their teammate. At this time, the state of health of the wide receiver is unknown. Hey Dallas Cowboys fan, what did you think of the game? Feel free to comment below. Tell us more about your expectations from the Dallas Cowboys in the NFL. Also, leave your like now because it is very important for the Dallas Cowboys.